Beautiful morning here in Abel, Tasman, and we are out of lockdown. So that means today we're headed back up into the park somewhere like over yonder on the other side of that ridge there. Drop down and explore one of these beautiful canyons. So we did one of the forks of this stream a few weeks ago and kind of missed actually where I was trying to get to. I was trying to get to this narrow slot waterfall that I had hiked up to last year. I really was looking forward to repelling that. And so we came down another side drainage, which was super cool, some fun times, but really had my eyes set on that, that slot waterfall. Wanted to check that out, see what that was like, see what was above that. So today we're coming down from the top. It's gonna be a beautiful day. It's a little chilly this morning, but I think it's gonna warm up quick, especially since I'm gonna be doing the approach hike, which is about two and a half hours in my wetsuit. So we're gonna warm up real quick. Very early spring here in New Zealand. So the mornings are pretty cold. It's been rainy. It's supposed to be a wonderful clear day today. Get up to maybe the mid to high 50s and a perfect day for some canyoning here in Abel Tasman National Park. approach to get to the actual stream two and a half hours on the trail and then about an hour and a half bush bashing down to the stream here and we actually ended up following a little tributary drainage met up with the stream now it's all downhill from here maybe about five hours five and a half hours down see how many big drops there are I know for sure there's two including that one slot falls let's see what else It's a little free hang right here. And just watch your hands, nothing gets entrapped in these roots, okay? There's a ton of roots over here. It's important to point out that although this canyon and the others we've done up until now are not technically first descents, they are unbaited, which means there's no information, there's no beta available to tell us the, the biggest drop. There's no established anchors, so there's no bolted anchors, so everything's gonna be a natural anchor. So natural anchor building skills are crucial. Mainly it's gonna be trees and maybe some cairns, but you really have to know some advanced anchor building skills to tackle something like this looked at the topo first to evaluate what the biggest drops were. So when we first started doing a couple of these, we were bringing both of our ropes, two 200 foot ropes or two 60 meter ropes. But now that I have gained some confidence in this particular part of Abel Tasman National Park, I know 160 is enough for this particular area. 
but it's better to have more rope than not enough for sure. And a great place to get your rope stuck is this cairn anchor that I built right here. In fact, I did end up getting it stuck. Had to climb up the side and uh, unstick it. Luckily, I was able to down climb the waterfall when we built that anchor and when we repelled it, we didn't know kind of what we were getting into on that waterfall, but there was nice steps and stuff and a fairly deep enough pool, about chest to waist deep. So when I got down to the last meter or so, I could kind of just drop into the pool. The one thing that I think is so hilarious about New Zealand is it's such a beautiful country and the people here are a bit spoiled by the beauty in the sense that some of these canyons because they're unbaited, the reason why some of these canyons are unbaited or not kind of like a published canyoning route is that the locals don't consider them worthy. They don't consider them something worth doing because there's so many beautiful canyons here. What really made these worth doing for us now is that other parts of the country, even other parts of the park, are, are higher flow. These are relatively lower flow, still super beautiful. And if you look at it in terms of what they call waterfall tramping here. It's more like a waterfall tramp or an adventure hike than it is like a hardcore canyoning or canyoneering route, but still super enjoyable. Good time for both Sam and I to practice our anchor building skills and just a good time to be amongst the beautiful rainforest of Abel Tasman. So there are even more epic things coming from Abel Tasman. We've kind of just slowly been building up. We've got some good things in store, so stick around some, some beautiful jump slides and even more beautiful canyons coming. In the meantime, get out there, find your adventure, and be infamous. Infamous.